Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to move an object automatically up and down a spline. Now to do that I'm going to get rid of this straight line because this isn't a very good example. So I'm going to do a shift D to get rid of that and I'm going to draw a circle. So we're going to have a nice circular spline here like this. That will do. And we're going to put a rock on it. Why not? So put a rock on this spline like that. So this rock is sitting on that spline. Let's just move him up a bit like that. So he's above the ground. Let's bring this down. Right. So what I want to show you is that if you've got an object on a spline, and your spline selected, and your object selected, and you use the square brackets, you can actually move that object along the spline. So I'm just holding down my right square bracket here, and it's zipping its way around the spline. So I can place it anywhere on the spine. I can use the left square bracket now, holding it down, to move it back. So in this way, if I've built a track that's laid out along a spline, I can just move my objects up and down it using the square bracket key. OK, what about gates? What happens with gates? So let's just look at what happens with a gate. So we're going to get a gate. Let's get one of these neon ones, why not? Uh, it's green neon gate we put it on and what you'll see is that the gate orientates the direction of the spline so any gate you add to a spline will always be pointing in the direction of the spline so this is my start point this is my end point and therefore this is orientated with the reset point here so you fly through the gate this way and then you would reset there if you crashed and of course I can move this up and down my spline just the same as the rock but importantly you can see that it is orientating itself all the time to the direction of the spline and it would do that for every gate that you add onto here and the same is true for objects as well now what I'm going to show you here is if I add oh, I go to the let's get a fence I think there's a fence in here I think fence in here where is it it's in barriers I think bottom of barriers yeah here we go this fence so I put this fence on here and you can see it aligns itself along the spline and again this is going to orientate itself to the spline as well because it's a fencing object but I can actually offset it so if this was my track of my cones I don't really want my fence actually right here on top of the cones I'd want it out here a bit offset but of course I can actually move it around on its offset as well so it will actually keep the offset moving it around the spline but not only that but I can select this object and press E and rotate it a bit and it will even keep that rotation all the way around the spline relative to where it is on the spline so this is all very powerful features for how you can put objects onto a spline uh, and of course you could also auto populate a fence with control A all the way around your spline if you wanted to as well Okay, so that's it for this video. See you on the next one.